The Hoffa fat pad is a package of fatty tissue located between the patellar tendon and the front of the knee. Because of its location, the Hoffa fat pad gets easily bruised after a fall or a direct impact onto the knee. We call that a Hoffa contusion. It is however also possible that the Hoffa fat pad becomes chronically bruised or compressed, not because of trauma, but because of so-called patellar maltracking. That we call Hoffa impingement. The Hoffa fat pad then gets continuously compressed between the patellar tendon and the femoral condyles and becomes painful and inflamed. The reason is that the patella is not gliding well centered in the trochlear groove and instead moves off center, which then causes the compression and irritation of the Hoffa fat pad. Palpation of the Hoffa then becomes painful. You can usually find the Hoffa fat pad easily just by inspection. It is the cushion like swelling next to the patellar tendon. Just applying some pressure with your thumb onto the Hoffa while flexing or extending the knee will then provoke some pain or discomfort and will confirm the diagnosis. Typically, these patients will also demonstrate the classical signs of patellar maltracking. That is, number one, inward torsion of the knee while standing, which is easily detectable if you stand in front of the patient and look at the position of the kneecaps. Combined with, number two, flattened medial arches of the feet, so-called flat feet, which contribute to this inward torsion. Just lifting the medial arch nicely demonstrates that. As soon as you lift the medial arch, the inward torsion indeed improves. The diagnosis of Hoffa impingement is confirmed with an MRI scan. Especially the transverse and the lateral sections are important, because these can easily show the bruising, which shows up as a white signal on the so-called T2 images, as you can clearly see here. I have made a separate video on how you can interpret your own MRI in an easy way. For the treatment of Fofa impingement, correction of the patellar maltracking is essential. A steroid injection in the bruised Hoffa will help to alleviate the pain in the short term, but the bruising will come back if the patellar maltracking is not corrected. Therefore, optimization of the leg alignment by corrective exercises of the hips and pelvis, the knees and the feet is essential, as well as corrective insoles or footwear. These measures will redirect the patella to the center of the groove and avoid Hoffa impingement, so the bruising can gradually heal without the use of any injections. Thank you for watching. Yeah.